So to give you a bit of background um, on my brother, Luis had a car accident when he was 18 years old. Um, he had just graduated from high school two weeks before and he had a car accident um, leaving his girlfriend's house late at night and uh, coming home and she lived less than a minute drive away. We wanted to launch the foundation um, after we set it up for six months and we thought, well, how should we go about launching the foundation? And we didn't, we wanted, we wanted to try to stay as far away from possible from your traditional, typical launch, which would be a, a party or a benefit or a gala. Uh, so we thought, what could we do that would be different where we didn't have to spend money to raise money? And we thought, well, it's called the Walkabout Foundation and it's all about walking. Why don't we go on a long walk and get people to sponsor us? So we started researching and asking people and um, we found the idea of going to walk across Spain and specifically going to walk the Camino de Santiago de Compostela, which is a pilgrimage route. It's a historical, it's a historical path that pilgrims for centuries have been going on um, with their final destination being in the northwest of Spain, being in Santiago de Compostela. Um, and we started looking into it and we thought, well, this is perfect. This makes complete sense. This is a great idea. It was the most unbelievable journey of my life. And I, I think I can speak on behalf of my family and on behalf of Luis and say it was the most unbelievable journey of his life and their life. And, um, and I say, when people say, wow, he walked almost 900 kilometers. Honestly, it doesn't, what I did, anyone can do, but what my brother did, very few people in the world I think can do because to be able to traverse and cross an entire country with just the use of your arms is an incredible feat um, that really requires so much motivation and so much willpower and so much dedication that not that many people can do and in my, in my mind makes him a hero for me and for everyone else who met him along the way. The fact that Luis was in a wheelchair didn't stop him from going and it didn't stop us from going and we embraced it and we continue to try to live a similar if not identical life to what he lived before. But that doesn't mean that we take away from the urgency of needing to find a cure because you can live a rich and, and fulfilled and great life in a wheelchair. The, the urgency for finding a cure is so huge and is still so prevalent that that's half the reason we set up this foundation is that there is a cure that's out there. It's, not, it's no longer a matter of if there's a cure, but when there's a cure.